A boy is walking in the rain, totally chill and relaxed with his umbrella, when he sees a girl on a swing crying and getting soaking wet. She's not a random girl, she's Mahiru, the most beautiful girl in his school, so much so that people call her Angel. Even the anime title calls her that. Okay, but why though? Yeah, she's cute, but by anime standards, she's really made. I can think of many characters who look a lot like her. Well, even though what I just said might be true, she's still cute, and her personality is more than enough to justify her nickname, as you'll soon see. Getting back to the anime, the main character Amane gives Mahiru his umbrella and rushes home. As a result, he catches a cold the next day. When she goes to return the umbrella, she sees him in really bad shape and decides to return the favor by taking care of him. So they both enter his... Big style, bro, what the heck is this? She immediately leaves after seeing that shit. By the way, they're neighbors and they both live alone. Anyway, she comes back to look after him. She had only gone to grab some items from her apartment while he changed the clothes. So he gets better and he's now on the balcony eating some jelly for dinner. Mahiro coincidentally went out to the balcony too and saw him eating that shit, which flipped some kind of switch in her that made her start giving him food. At first, she did it for free, but then they both started paying half the ingredients. She also helped him clean his apartment. One day, while she was leaving, she dropped her student ID. Amane picked it up and went to give it back to her, but not before seeing her birthday's day date, which is in just 4 days. So he buys her a present, a hand cream and a plushie bear. She's really happy with her gift. She even sleeps with the bear and shit. Some other day, Amane's mom comes to visit him. She comes just when Mahiru is there too. At first he tries to hide her, but his mom starts checking every last place in his apartment until she finds her in his room. Of course, as a typical anime mom, she thinks they're dating, and she's happy Mahiru is looking after her son. She then leaves, but not before exchanging contacts info with Mahiru. After that, Amane's best friend Itsuki and his girlfriend Chitose ask him if they can have a Christmas party at his place, and he accepts. So they all gather there, and the three of them eat together while they're rubbing their love in Amane's face and in ours. And at some point they decide to go out to the balcony because it started to snow and that's when they see Mahiru who had gone out for the same reason. And this isn't like other animes, there are no miracles or excuses that save her from being found out. Amane's friends already knew his neighbor had been cooking for him and now they've learned Mahiru is that neighbor. But they're not like Amane's mother, they listen to her explanation and find out they're not dating or anything and promise not to tell anyone to avoid causing a commotion among their classmates. Couple days later, Mahiru gets sick because she spent too much time on the balcony when it was snowing. But she's like, I'm okay, you're just imagining it. But Aman is not having any of that. The princess carries her and tells her, listen bitch, you choose, either you rest in my room or I carry you to yours. She's too embarrassed to let him see her room, so she picks his. Either choice was a win, but let's be real, we'd all rather have our crush sleeping in our room, right? Anyways, he gives her all the medicine she needs, so she's leaving her to rest, but she grabs him cause she wants him to stay, and then she immediately backs off. That was really cute. In the end, he holds her hand while she falls asleep. Sometime later, when Mahir is all good already, Mani's parents come to visit him, so his father finally meets his daughter-in-law. Well, he's not like his wife, he treats them kindly without assuming anything. He's a really nice dude. In any case, Amani's mom brought a kimono for Mahiru to wear at some New Year's festival or something like that, I don't really know. They both dress up nicely, but apparently Amani's clothes and hairstyle give him some kind of Superman-like power and he doesn't get recognized by anyone. You see, it turns out some classmates saw them at the festival and rumors began to spread that Mahiru had a boyfriend, but no one realized it was Amani. Bruh. Then we move forward to Valentine's Day. You know how in Japan it is a little bit different from the West? Girls give chocolates to guys in February and guys return the gesture a month later. So Mahiru gives Amane hot chocolate for Valentine's Day, along with this shit that I don't know how to pronounce, which seems to be oranges covered with a little bit of chocolate. A bit weird, but it's the kind of sweets Amane likes, so it's okay. A month later, Amane gives her a bracelet as a return gift, and she's really happy with it. Look how cute she is. We've now gotten to a point where both of them are starting to have feelings for each other. It may seem quick, but it's been a pretty slow process actually. Bear in mind that in the anime, they've known each other for months. And Anyhow, one day, Amani is heading home and when he gets out of the elevator, he sees a woman talking to Mahiru. Actually, rather than talking, she was straight up insulting her. After the bitch leaves, we find out she's Mahiru's mother, so Amani takes her hand and brings her to his place to hear her story. Mahiru explains her parents got married out of interest and due to family matters, so they never wanted a 
child. She was an accident, just like many of us. They had no intention of raising her, so she was raised by the housekeepers. But that ain't even the worst part. Turns out they haven't been able to divorce because of her, as neither of them wants to be her guardian. So they're just waiting for her to graduate from university and become independent, so she won't have any ties to them anymore. When her mother told her face to face that she's as unwanted as a new season of Rent a Girlfriend, she went to the swing from the first episode to cry in despair. Upon hearing all that, Amane offers her a shoulder to cry on. It's not good to keep all those emotions bottled up inside. She takes him up on his offer and cries her eyes out. Next up, it's the new school year, and surprise surprise, Amane and Mahiru are in the same class with Amane's friends. At first, they don't shout at all to avoid annoying situations with their classmates, which makes Mahiru kinda angry. So Chitose takes charge and invites Mahiru to join her group with Itsuki and Amane for a group project. This gives Amane and Mahiru the opportunity to gradually start talking to each other at school. Later, it's Golden Week, which is pretty much a long vacation. So Mahiru asks Amane to spend a whole day out with her during the vacation. And of course he accepts. It's pretty much their first date. First, they go to a cat cafe, drink some coffee and play with the cats. Later, they go to a shop and Mahiru tries on some dresses. While they're there, two girls hit on Amane, which of course makes Mahiru jealous. So she takes him away from there. Then they go to the arcade, saying Mahiru had never been there and she wanted to go. After that, the date ended. While later, we see Mahiru stripping in Amane's room and then climbing into his bed, showing her immense personality, and she asks him to touch her. But then he wakes up moist. Bruh. It was a wet dream. He's really embarrassed to talk to Mahiru now, so he's avoiding her. Poor girl thinks he's angry with her, and when he tells her it's not that, she asks him if he can tell her. And this man decides to tell her for some reason. What the fuck? But girl wastes no time and asks him how she was seducing him in his dream. You know, for research purposes. Purposes, so she pretty much didn't care at all about it. In fact, she wanted to use his dream as reference for later. She's an angel, alright? Now let's wrap this up. It's sports day at their school and they both signed up for the same activity, something called scavenger race. In this race, you're given a paper with something you have to retrieve written on it. And you have to get to the finish line with what you were asked to bring. Aman and Mahiru grab each other's hands because they both match what the other was asked to bring. When they reach the finish line, they're asked what was written on their papers. Amane's task was to bring someone he finds beautiful, so that didn't raise any suspicions, but the card Mahiru had said to bring someone who's very dear to her, and when it was read out loud for everyone to hear, all hell broke loose. All these freaking sims were crying like little bitches. They were interrogating Amane like they had any right to. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. And Mahiru stepped in to defend him, because these idiots were saying there are better guys out there, so why did she have to choose him? She fires back by asking them to explain in detail what's wrong with Amane. And the best answer they could come up with was that it's his looks, to which she responds. So you're saying you would only like someone based on their looks? She finishes by saying they have no right at all to say anything about who she chooses to be with. That's what they both should have said from the start instead of giving the long ass explanation they gave. Back at home, they finally decide to talk about their feelings. They hug and Amane confesses first. He starts telling her how he fell in love with her. He tells her that in the beginning, he didn't think she was charming at all. But that gradually changed and now he loves her and wants to treasure her. He described exactly how I felt about her as I watched the anime. She replies she was worried someone else would see how cool he is and try to snatch him away. So she started being more assertive with him. After hearing that, he finally asks her out. And she of course accepts. After which they hug once more and the anime ends. So there was no case. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. See you next time.